and welcome to this week's edition of Popilong. My name is Pule Molevati. A warm welcome to you. We are used to artists making masterpieces out of canvas, paint or clay. However, today's artist steered clear of traditional media and relied on an unusual materials to create his signature work. With no resources available to him, Subusi Kachani still managed to make art from objects that were deemed useless and waste. Today he shares his story with us. Take a look. Busiso Brian Mukachane was born and bred in Soweto. Like any other child, he had dreams, but his were a bit unusual and unconventional. Going to dump sites and collecting waste was part of his dream. I grew up loving art um, from a very young age. Um, that's the only thing that I knew uh, that I always loved. Um, so growing up, it was just me and art. Even in primary school, I couldn't wait to just get out of school and go, uh, go home and just start uh, with my own projects. His dream mostly involved dump sites because he couldn't afford the expensive paints and art apparatus. My mom was, was a domestic worker, so a domestic worker should so she'd come home with like uh, old used uh, brushes and paints from 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 the kids of of, of her employers. So that's how we started uh, through getting my paint and my brush that we used by by those people. So I take that and create from 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 that. So that's how the the, the patient started. Sbusiso's mother noticed his love for art from an early age. I suppose it's a man that I've been a five years and complaining long and tell a Ashanganisa matrat, call it a matrat. Ashanganisa ends a mot. La potatan a bit, we are far casting on a hot years and bell. I have no time to draw a cold. Let Telama cry on a domestic work, and as an ama cry on it is in Jalu time to draw. Yabon, <laughs> Although she says bringing up her kids was not easy, she tried her best to grant them their needs. Inkhine ekunzima kakhulu kune domestic violence. Sometimes it's cold here. Hey, hey. Every day, we shall go and say. Hey. Sometimes I as college Sometimes I'm a laico. But I think I give up. Oh, yeah. But I will think I'm a bus stop. I think I'm a sweet. A cigarette. What's the name of the cook? I'm cooking a trail. Even a space in just man. So good. I like it. Top of my paper as in Langton's and Alama paper. Sbusiso admits that motherly support kept him going. She was always supportive, um, even my domestic, my first sewing machine, um, she was the one who bought it for me. Um, so she, she was always supportive. She was always there to, to encourage me to, to, to go and pursue it more. Mm. His mother acknowledges his intrinsic gift and the love he had. school. 
Endurance is not an easy exercise, but taking it one day at a time got them through the hardships as Busiso took on a fatherly role. This is also swag. Got to Kalum Caesar maybe two years back. Okalum Caesar. Because now that time, I've been a seven to swag. Eh. Busiso Zana gave up until. Was when they pick and pay. I look at two, but. It can go easy for him because my lamb seven zin. At my mamma, it won't be a college at my mamma. Mammy, a college in Zosha in Zosha in. During the 2010 World Cups, Boo took on available opportunities and displayed his artwork at Villagazi Street for tourists and art lovers. The hunger to keep making artworks propelled Subusiso to really think beyond the challenges. After the break, he shows us more of his masterpieces. Stay right here. The big news is Newsroom. We also stream live on YouTube. Whether you're at home, at the office, or at the gym, wherever you are, Newsroom is right there with you. Bringing you all the latest news, updates, sports, weather, and everything in between. Get all the latest news you need on the go via live streaming on our YouTube channel. That's Newsroom, weekdays at 9 a.m., only on the SABC News Channel. One other person has been shot dead and another is in a critical condition in hospital. The CRL has laid charges against controversial televangelist Paseka Mutsuneng. More than 1.3 million South Africans have been added in the past two registration weekends. The International Monetary Fund warns that policy uncertainty could dampen economic growth in South Africa. And all eyes are on the new bot coach, Alistair Kutsia, his challenge to keep everyone in the country happy. romantic adventure film starring Ivan Boerta and Donnelly Roberts. The story begins in the beautiful vineyards of Paul in the Western Cape. The adventure takes off when the characters find themselves on the tropical island of love, Mauritius. Josephine's work is more interesting and distinguishable. She visits war-stricken zone countries to tell the story of the damage war often leaves behind. This particular exhibition's case places that are named after conflict or disaster or war or reconciliation. And basically what it is, is is it's a collection of the best animated short films from around the world this year and the idea is to inspire uh, animators and directors with this exciting content and so that's been offered to us as a cinema and uh, we're very excited to, to be screening the animated show of shows here in South Africa. Join Rufula Mula for that one hour weekly dose of arts and entertainment news every Friday at 9 p.m. on Trends.
Welcome back to Bupilon Raiche on SABC News. Subusiso has managed to make strides and balance between his passion and the business side of making art. Have a look at this. He took his poverty, turned it into passion, and made business from all of that. He hustled being a recognized artist for 10 years. He recycles old things and make them reusables. I couldn't afford the canvas to, to go to a store and buy canvas. It's, it's expensive, so I was fresh, uh, fresh out of school, so I couldn't afford that. So the only way was to, to create. And so, so that pushed me to, to, to go around the dumping sites and collect um, and go back home. Um, my mom sometimes would collect that, I would complain that I'm missing the yard, but <laughs> it, I had to do it. People didn't understand why he went to dump sites. He would sometimes question his sanity. It was weird at first, because even with people some thought me which I was mad. Um, even for me, it, it felt weird uh, just going to, to, to dumping sites and picking up uh, my newspapers because I'd see like mad people doing that. So for me, maybe to some point I was questioning myself with I'm mean, still me, 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 me. But there was this thing, this passion. With passion, it's like a burning desire that you can't run away from. So you do whatever, sacrifice whatever to, to get that thing. Some people won't understand until they see the final product. So I always start with the end in the mind. So I, even going to, to the dumping site, I knew the end result. Some of the things he would collect to make his recycled bags and journals. The plastics and the, uh, the recycled office files, so in, in the CBD, like uh, the government departments, like and every year they'll throw away like the old files and the cut boxes. So we collect that and create a machine arts from that. Uh, the plastics, the plastics we collect that to, to create these bags. Um, and these bags were part of the reason why I was chosen to, to be part of Amapigo. And we were invited to, to be part of the 10th uh, uh, Academy in Cape Town. Sbusiso went an extra mile to invest in his dream. I had to, to sell cigarettes at the taxi rank. I had to wake up at 4 a.m. and sell sweets and cigarettes and snacks. And I'd use that profit to buy band, to buy a bomber brush, to buy fabric to keep on pushing. So I, I just, I didn't wait for, for a perfect time to make money out of art. Um, I knew that it'd be difficult, so I knew that I had to, to make means to, to fund myself first. So f like to, to, to send an email, you need money to do that. You need money, especially now, you need money to buy data panthers and do your research and apply for all this. So you can't wait for, for family to, to support you financially. Uh, so that's what pushed me to just, through selling, uh, through washing cars, getting a job as a cleaner. While pushing hard for his passion, he met Gutwano, who shared similar art sentiments. We started uh, breaking ideas, you know, down, and then how we're going to meet and getting things in a proper way. From 2008 to 2009, we were still at George Chebo uh, Skills and Development Center. And then that's how we grew. They took on the same initiatives at school to try and expand their art within their community. When we were at the school premises, we, we gather as, you know, a group of individuals. developed so that we can make ends meet or get the money to make a difference in whatsoever. 
that we need to do. So 2009 to 2010, that's when we, we used to meet at social gigs, uh, displaying uh, our, our ideas on the shelves. And then we, we used to do uh, road shows, like uh, uh, street pop. We used to go to street pop industries uh, where there is huge gather of creatives. We attend such gigs so that we can show our creations or our ideas to the public. So that's how it grew. And then me and Sbusi, so we had a common, you know, a positive knowledge of getting things done. So our idea and his idea were, were alike. His mother witnessed Busiso's relentless spirit, his exercise in patience, and his infinite faith. Understanding that this was his soul living through his body, Spoo named his label Soul Art. Soul Art Foundation um, is the foundation that we started last year after the Dharma Pigo Academy. Uh, so it's about community development, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a social entrepreneurship project. Uh, so what we do, we train passionate young kids about art who are passionate about art. Um, so I mentor them, I, I, I teach them the, the, the process. He had a dream in mind and everything that happened in between, he saw it as a channel of elevating him to his ultimate goal. Let's take a quick break. Pupilon returns after this. Afternoon, you're watching the midday report. Lunchtime news amplified. But for now, this is what they call home. Their hope to shift to a higher ground seems to be against the tide. Midday report provides you with more than just news stories. I just want Port Elizabeth to know that they own a world class theatre. Good afternoon, you're with the news at one in the headlines. Very good afternoon to you. This is News Live. I'm Natasha Thorpe. Let's take a quick look at what's coming up in your headlines. Good afternoon and welcome to A View from the House. For all things news, tune in to Midday Report weekdays at 12 noon only on the SABC News Channel. Technology isn't all scary. There's also fun stuff like gaming. Lots of women do play games, whether it's on their phones or their tablets. Then there are Africans who are using new tools to make other people's lives much easier. We typed the whole CV on a small QWERTY Nokia phone. For all these and other technology and social media news, join me, Spumelele Zondi, every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Central African Time on SABC News. Welcome back. Sibusiso is now distributing his work in different art platforms and even street corners nationwide, making him one of the very few local artists making a living solely out of his artworks. His life was turned around when he was spotted by an association that wanted to collaborate with him. They taught him entrepreneurial skills and gave him a kickstart. 2014, that's when I started doing production, including I um, started with the bags, the pet bags, um, started uh, exhibiting my body in prison. Uh, and I see Bromfantin at Neighbor Goods Market. Um, that's where I met uh, a lot of retailers who were interested in what I'm doing, um, who invited me to, 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 to participate and to, to collaborate with them. 
uh, that's Woody's, that's Krach uh, the Hunter Cycling Club. Um, even in Cape Town, I have uh, collaborations with stores in uh, Long Street. Uh, so those are guys that are helping me to, to distribute my, my, my products at the watershed. No one believed that waste could be best and make business, but Spusiso did. I have a goal in mind, I have a dream in mind that I'm working towards to invest in. So with my salary, I'll just invest everything there, in, just in my, in, in, my, in my passion. So I'd buy food at home. But the rest of, of my money, I just invested back to, to my craft. So I, I didn't go out with friends, I didn't buy alcohol, I didn't have nice time, I didn't buy clothing. So it takes, it's, it's about sacrifice. When, when you're passionate about something and you want to make something work, as bad as you want to breathe, you, you sacrifice, you go all means, you take any peace job. Visualizing his future meant turning pessimists into boundary pushers, and Sbusiso did exactly that. Would his owners source booze backs on the streets and ran to grabbing the product. Angela was blown away when her business partner showed her Sbu's bags. He went crazy, crazy, crazy. And he's actually asking the owner, please tell me who designed this bag. I need to know, I need to know, I need to know. The owner refused to give the details, because obviously everyone wants his, you know, as an exclusive piece. Um, and then it was funny, he actually bumped into him, because he saw Brian carrying the bag that he loved. Um, in Maboneng, and I think he approached him, and I'm like, oh my gosh, do, do you make these bags? And he's like, yes, oh, I've been looking for you everywhere. And so then he told Brian about what we do, and would love to collab, and he was game, and that's basically how it started. Angela and Woody's customers continue to be amazed by Sbusiso's creations. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's really like, yeah, so much work. We give him so much work, because we only produce a limited number of um, a, a liner bags. So we'll maybe focus on a dark shwe shwe print, for instance, and we'll ask him to do about 15 or so. Within a month or so, it's all gone. Then we have to constantly. So people are loving it. Um, the international market go crazy. No, he's brilliant. He's a brilliant talent. And his handiwork is amazing. I mean, you can see he's definitely a perfectionist. And as you can see, it's a part of, of who he is. It's, 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 it's him. Mpumele Lomfula also saw Busiso's work displayed and made sure not to lose out on an opportunity of working with him. I met him online. So we're Facebook friends, coincidentally. So I kept on seeing these bags, liking, liking, liking every time, but I thought, let me hit him up. I'm like, nah, he'll hit me up when he's ready. And finally he hit me up, he's like, yo, can we work together? And I was like, sure, a spa, ne? Um, and that was quite recent, so we just recently started working together. Mpumi has no doubt that Swissisa's work is going far because of its uniqueness. Seals are good, seals are looking good, especially the first few weeks, because of the whole excitement. We are no guya they'll gradually drop and pick up according to product offering and the quality as well. There's very few people locally who work with bags and specialize in that. And with him uh, tying his niche in traditional references, I see him, I see him with the likes of Abula Duma going international because he has something to contribute and not to copy unlike some brands who do that. So to be honest with you, I'm not even trying to be biased. I see his brand going international with time. We can say Sbusiso is modest, but all he is is humble and living his life purpose the simplest way he can. He has worked on a couple of big projects. This year, we were part of Designing Dawa in February. Um, that exposed me to, to, to a lot of opportunities and a lot of networks. 
Um, I'm part of the Imaging Creatives um, 2016. Um, we're still in the process of, of producing work and creating work with them. It was an awesome experience. Um, we exhibited there, we sold work there. He would also like to see his work dominating the international market doing residencies. Residences like uh, a three month stay, maybe it like, can be a three month stay in New York uh, under uh, a gallery. And then we create work, and uh, at the end of, of, of that stay, we exhibit that work. So it's a uh, skill share uh, among artists. So I can be a recycling artist, a visual artist, and collaborate with. Uh, um, a craft artist or a fashion designer or just it's a collective of artists uh, sharing skills. And he has future plans as he believes in sustaining his artistry and not just making it for fashion. I have 10 year plans, I have 15 year plans. Um, there's so many things that I want to do. But I've learned how the universe works. So I'm very much patient, uh, I'm very much content, I'm at peace. Um, I'm just creating what I can create for today. So I make sure that every day I create something towards the ultimate dream. Mama is very proud of him and could not hold up her tears. I'm proud of him. From dumb stars to big exhibiting spaces and stores, he has a word of advice from Sbu. To those who want to start, just do it. Don't brainstorm it. Don't plan around it. Uh, just do it. Uh, and trust that God has a way and will make a way. Unconventional and curious, he is an explorer and an inventor. To the lovers of art, he is a game changer. To us here on the show, he is a hero in his own right. And with that, we conclude our show today. Thank you for you for watching at home. From us here, it's a goodbye.